So people didn't believe it was going to be anything but a toy. So Bell had to convince people they needed a telephone. They, the people just like, it, it was like, what's that type of thing? So, so um, he built uh, uh, a version of his first phone called the camera box phone. And um, the ver to prove, okay, so you have to think about before there was ever a telephone, how do you tell people there was a telephone call? Okay, so what they, right, right? So what they did was um, they borrowed the telegraph lines of the Woolrich Company. Uh, Bell was in Boston at their office, and Watson was in Cambridgeport at their manufacturing uh, plant on Osborne Street. And they got two reporters from the Boston Globe. One was in each location. There was a three-hour conversation, and each reporter transcribed that conversation. When it was over with, they compared notes and, and realized, yes, there was a telephone call and ran it in the paper the next day. Okay, so that was the first step on getting people to realize that they had a telephone. Then Bell went uh, around different places and gave uh, um, uh, presentations. And, and the, uh, the Lyceum in Salem was kind of like the TED Talks of the day. Mm -hmm. And he gave presentations there. And what they would do is, uh, Bell would be on stage with, with the camera box phone. Watson would be like maybe in the house next door or two doors over at the other end with a band. And, and then uh, Bell would speak into the telephone and say, you know, Mr. Watson, can you play us a tune? And then Watson would start singing and, and the band would start playing and everyone in the audience would hear the music coming out of the phone. So that's how they got people's attention. That was